everyone! Welcome back to another one of my videos <laughs> where I'm going to be doing an intro about something unrelated to the actual contents of the video but that needs to be talked about. You'll notice that behind me, this shelf right here, is empty! It used to have Harry Potter books on it. And then a very spiteful, hateful, disgusting essay was put on the internet by a very spiteful, hateful, disgusting person and I no longer feel like I can support anything involving Harry Potter, anything involving JK Rowling. I already purchased these books, however, I do not want to see them, so I'm going to be giving them to my parents and they can do with them what they want. Um, they're, they're no longer going to be a part of my existence and I have a lot of possessions that I need to start combing through that have Harry Potter or the Harry Potter world uh, kind of feelings and vibes and I have spent a lot of money on supporting this woman that formed a lot of my reading habits as a child and I no longer want to continue that. So I'm not going to be linking that horrible essay down below. However, just know that J.K. Rowling has always been problematic and the unfortunate thing is that a lot of us kept supporting her while she was being problematic. But you know what? 2020 is the year where we change shit. We're not supporting problematic people. We're not supporting problematic authors. We're not supporting problematic companies. So I have a lot of research to do regarding my bookshelves because who knows what else I currently own or currently have displayed that I could be inadvertently advertising where the author might be in support of some sort of violence or hate towards a group of people that already receives so much violence and hate. They don't need more from the internet or from books. They're safe haven, essentially. In my description box down below, let me tell you about some wonderful things that are gonna happen in this description box down below. There's going to be not only links to petitions and links to places you can donate for Black Lives Matter, because let me tell you something, that discussion is still going. And that change still is happening. Like I said, 2020 is the year of change. We're still going. Our black friends are tired. It's our turn to step the fuck up and let them rest. So we have some work to do, y'all. So get your ass in my description box. Click on some links. Sign some petitions. Donate to some causes. Educate yourself. There's videos down there that you need to watch because I know you haven't watched them. And you know what else? Comment on those videos that you watch because if you only subscribe to black creators to say that you subscribe to black creators, you're fucking with the algorithm and you are not a true ally. I will say that for free. In addition to those links, there is now going to be a set of links for mental health awareness hotlines for if you need to talk to somebody because you know what the world's fucked right now and we need some help there's also going to be links down below to the trevor project and other charities for lgbtqia plus and there's going to be some educational shit in the description box down below so click it click through it read about it educate yourself so now that I've gone on a seven minute rant about uh, things that really matter, and I probably won't cut any of it because I managed to do all of that in one take, we're going to open up my owl crate. This is May's owl crate and I finally just got it. So I'm already a little bit pissed off about that anyway because it's mid June and I'm just now getting the crate that was from May. And, you know, I feel like when you pay for something and you pay a pretty high price for the shipping of that something, I understand that there is COVID-19 and a pandemic still going on. But when the updates about the boxes being late comes a week before you start shipping the boxes, that's not really acceptable to me. So let's see what's in this. 
All right, so on the very top is the spoiler card. I never really actually look too deeply into these spoiler cards because I really don't want anything to get spoiled unless I need to know what something is. On the front of this, it looks like a bunch of badass magical babes and I kind of live for that vibe. So I really like the art on this as well. I just think it's very cute. Next in the box is more noodles than um, I think is really necessary. I, I thank God my apartment complex has recycling. I will say that. Okay, so the first thing in this uh, box is, I think this might be a set of silverware. So it comes in a cute little bag, a little like white bag. Oh, it's straws. That's so cute. They're reusable straws. Oh, yay. I don't have any reusable straws. <gasps> oh, I love these. They're so pretty. The next thing in the box is the enamel pin, and the enamel pin for this is actually a little crystal, and um, it was designed by Penny Slug, uh, etsy.com slash shop slash Penny Slug design. Very cute little crystal. Uh, I really like this style of art anyway, like super cute illustrative crystal style. So now we're gonna put it on a pin board. Boy, if it like gets to the point where I find out that Alcrate is really out here not doing what it should be doing, this pin board is gonna get real empty real quick, I'll say that. Oh, you can't even see it, wow. <laughs> Let's move the camera. <laughs> Burner! <laughs> the next thing in the box is this little pouch, and I have no idea what's in it, but it's by Juniper and Ivy Designs. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess book plates. Nope, it is a magnet. Never allow yourself to believe you should be silent. It's a little wood engraved, like wood burned magnet. And that is a very apt quote for the current state of the world. I like that a lot. And that's by uh, juniperandivydesigns.com. Heart of Iron pot holder set. Well, these are really cute and I will use them. I have not read Heart of Iron, nor have I heard of it, but I will look it up now. Um, yeah, I was gonna be like, oh shit, if I inadvertently like have somehow purchased that book and I don't remember, that would suck. But they're really cute and I like the, I like the vibe. So these will go in my kitchen. The next item in the box is a set of stickers. And I am kind of living for the stickers, honestly. Hope in the shadow of fear is the world's most powerful motivator, a Neil Schusterman quote. You are your own best weapon, Mary Rutkowski, Marie Rutkowski, quote. In a society that profits from your self-doubt, liking yourself is a rebellious act, Caroline Caldwell. And this Latin quote from Margaret Atwood, which is from uh, The Handmaid's Tale, and... I, I really like these. They're little rebellious stickers. I'm The theme of this box was Rebels with a Cause. And the theme of this box came out at the beginning of April. And so I'm wondering if maybe this was delayed so that they could put together some more items that were more relevant to the current situation. But I honestly, I don't know. I do like the stickers and I like the general theme of this box so far. So I'm 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 enjoying most of what I'm getting at this point. The next thing is actually a little card from Alcrate and it says Dear Alcrate Dear Alcrate Reader, in an effort to get your Alcrate box delivered to you as soon as possible, we made the decision not to wrap your book in plastic this month. If you have any questions, concerns, or feedback, please get in touch. I would rather them not wrap the book in plastic in the first place. Um, anything that is in this box that is like non-recyclable is kind of a problem. So like even these little cellophane bags, they are not actually recyclable plastic. So I would actually love if they stopped wrapping anything in plastic, but that's me. At the end of the box last month, there was a little spoiler card that let us have a preview of something that was gonna be in this box and they said that we would be getting a free graphic novel from Oni Press in addition to a book, an actual book. So the 
graphic novel actually looks so good and I'm so excited because my pagan ass just needs more shit like this in my life. So the graphic novel is Witchy, which is a webcomic that is now bound in graphic novel form by Ariel Rees and I am extremely excited by this. I literally, the art style is, it reminds me of like 90s cartoon vibes. So I have no idea what this is about, but the color palette, like come for me, honestly. Ah! In the Witch Kingdom, Hyalin, the strength of your magic is determined by the length of your hair. Those that are strong enough are conscripted by the Witch Guard, who enforce the law in peacetime and protect the land during war. However, those with hair judged too long are pronounced enemies of the kingdom and annihilated. This is called a witch burning. Just saying! <laughs> Burn me at the stake. I am ready to be done. <laughs> I had a feeling that this was going to be the book in this particular owl crate, so I refrained from buying it at the store. And this is another one where I kind of wish I'd bought it at the store because I like that cover better. But it is Incendiary by Zoraida Cordova. I wanted this the day it came out, but I was like, oh my god, that's going to be in my owl crate. I just had a gut feeling. I didn't buy it at the store. But the book cover that is the store bound one actually has the, the falling girl on the front. And I just think that that's so pretty. Let me see if I can find that page. So here are the differences between the covers. And I really, really, really like the regular cover. The uh, Owl Crate edition is beautiful as well. It's got a ton of like pretty detail and patterns in it. And I, I like that the castle is framed. But this is one of those books where I was just like, oh, I want this, but I know it's going to be the Owl Crate book. Renata was only a child when she was kidnapped by the king's justice and brought to the luxurious palace of Andalusia. As a memory thief, hi, we read that book, we didn't love her, but I'm hoping this does better. The rarest and most feared of the magical Moria, Renata was used by the crown to carry out the king's wrath, a siege that resulted in the deaths of thousands of her own people. Now, Renata is one of the Whispers, rebel spies working against the crown. The Whispers may have rescued Renata years ago, but she cannot escape their mistrust and hatred or the overpowering memories of the hundreds of souls she drained during her time in the palace. I'm just saying, if that doesn't hook you and intrigue you into wanting to read this book, then something's fucking wrong with you and you should get that looked at by a professional. It's just the truth. I'm just letting you know. This is the stuff that usually comes in the plastic with the book. There's a note from the author and also the photo card has the original art on it. So I might just keep this because I really like the original art and I'll just put this inside the book. Plus the note to the author I like to keep with the book anyway. And then it has the little interview with her on the interior page right here. And just just fun stuff that I, I never really look at. You know, just the usual. At the very, very bottom is the uh, spoiler card for the next month. So the theme of the June box is All the World's a Stage, and there's the art for it. And the June box will contain an exclusive coffee from Bones Coffee Company. Well, that, I don't drink coffee, so I'm already not super thrilled about that. But Mike, my boyfriend, does drink coffee, so he can have that. Well, that is my owl crate. And you know what? I'm going to end this video the same way I started it by saying that you need to go and look at the links in the description box. Because if we really do want to make a change and we really do want 2020 to not just be the year of the pandemic and the year of the continuation of black people's murders and the year of the continuation of anti-trans groups being given voices, then we need to actually do something. We need to take action. And the way you can do that is by educating yourself, continuing to be violently anti-racist. Just saying that racism is bad isn't enough. You need to be very anti-racist and you need to make steps against that and like question your own shit too like fucking look inside yourself and realize that there's some shit wrong with you and start working on fixing it so get in the description box be active do something with yourself and literally don't let this just die because if you're content to go back to what things were like 
a month ago, then you never really cared about making a change or making an impact anyway. You just did it for clout and that's not what we're here for on this channel and that's not what we're here for on booktube. Booktube is going to make a change and make an impact and how we start is by signing petitions and educating ourselves. So please do that and don't just click away and be done with it because you don't want to deal with it. Please. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you happen to make it all the way through this video, you are insane and I love you for that and I will see you in my next one. Bye!